Washita Mountain Living. We're gonna get after it today. I'm out here with Miss Tilly, my assistant. She's loyal. She may not be an expert carpenter, but she's always here and eager to learn, ain't you, Tilly? Well, all right, what we're gonna do this morning is start on my cabinets. Uh, I'm gonna take these cedar posts that I tore out, uh, various places in the cabin, and I'm gonna cut them to one and a half by two inch uh, pieces and use that for my framing. And I've got this piece. I'm gonna have to cut the ends off because they're full of nails. Uh, trying to get them out is an act of Congress, although I may try to beat them out. I've got some sticking out. But I've also got a few more beams down here and some thicker pieces that we can use. So I'm gonna use all cedar in building the cabinets, every bit of it. I was gonna use some of this pine. Let's go look at this. But I don't think I wanna use it. It's, it's still kind of green and that stuff's good and dry. I mean, this would work. It's just not the most attractive. But the framing isn't gonna be seen anyway. But as you can see, that's not the most attractive stuff in the world. And then I'll be using this half inch uh, cedar to do the outsides and, and trim on the cabinets. So let's get started on that. Yesterday, I came out here, I bought a bag of grass seed and I spread grass seed all through here. I'm gonna have a nice grassy area back here. You can see the grass seeds everywhere. So hopefully in a few months, this will look different. Uh, I don't want open mud like that, you know. It'll, it'll make mud puddles, so we gotta get some grass on it. Also went around the property to any areas that needed grass like that. Spread the grass seed around. Over here in Libby's old area, it's pretty much growing back anyway. Yeah, there's some bare spots and it's got seed now. Oh, there's a lot of lumber in there. Put some down there, I think, and around here. You know, anywhere there was bare spots. All right, man, I got time to sit here and yak at you. Let's get going. saw doesn't have the capabilities to go through this four inch beam so I went ahead and got the the pine wasn't my first choice but what I'm doing this is saw straight from the sawmill so I've got to true it up a little bit and these are true four inch pieces so the first pass I'm gonna go three and seven eighths go three and three quarters. to remove the safety guard don't recommend that for beginners and then I'm gonna rip these each down a inch and three quarters and this is gonna be the frame 
of my cabinets. Bad man. Oh, I don't like sawmill pine. All right. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So I'm gonna start with these. I ought to get a good part of it going. Woo. So let's see what we have. Start my glasses. We've got an inch and three quarters by an inch and a half. So that's good frame of material right there. Uh, yeah, that stuff's good. All right, that's what I'm got going. All right, I went in and measured. We are going to make a cabinet that is four feet long, 24 inches tall, and 12 inches wide. That gives me just enough to put my vent hood under. And it's going to be a little shorter than the cabinets that are already in there, but it has to be because of the, the vent hood. I don't want that thing right up in my nipple, you know, trying to cook some eggs and my nipple is hitting the frying pan. I can't have nipples in frying pans. Have you ever smelled fried nipple? It's, it's, it's bad. You don't want to smell fried nipple. Telly took off on me. But I've gained a milli. Let's see if we can swing over there. See what kind of help she's been. Yeah, we've gained a milli, lost a Tilly. So Tilly has decided she doesn't want to be a carpenter. She wants to be a machinist. She don't have thumbs, man. She don't have thumbs. Let her do what she wants to do. All right, I gotta get to work. Cutting this sawmill stuff is no picnic. Oh man, it's terrible. You breathe it. Oh. Horrible, man.
where these little little blowers come in handy. All right, I got my two youngest girls out here. They said they're going to help. I don't know. They're too busy scratching. Yep, got to get them their next guards. It's that time of year, probably a week or two late. But they don't have nothing. I've been checking them out. All right. I know it's a little dark in here, guys. I'll try to lighten it up an editor if it is. Now I just got to get it all squared up, get these, get the bottom screwed on top here. So now we should have 24 inch uh, height, 12 inch depth, and four foot length. So that should be good. Then we'll just take this frame. Uh, I don't know where this if this is going to line up on a stud or not. If it doesn't, then I'll put two across here. We'll see where we get. I think it will. It should. But if not, we'll fix that. We'll get this attached to the wall, and then we can put cedar on it. But first, I got to go over it and uh, you know sand it, get that rough splinter stuff off. All right, let me get my square in. Hoping that mic was on. You get it out of the way so I can use my pocket for screws, man. This is the tedious part. Alright. Get my squire. Ah, my goma. Alright, so we're square down here. Yes, yes, yes. I've already got my holes pre-drilled. All right, we'll just get one started. All right. Oh, that's perfect. Right there. Don't fidget. Don't move. Ah. Should have had your screws already in there, man. Get one in there right quick. Oh, check it again. Ah, I hate bending over. That's as good as you get it. All right. I could not find the right nails for this. So the problem with using screws is you got to make sure when you're drilling them this way that you're not hitting the screws that are that way. So I've got those dead in the center, one on each side of them. This is good green stuff. So it's not going to not going to hurt anything. All right. And this part should be easy if I made all my cuts right. Oh, yeah. In. That's a little out. That's pretty good there. All right. Get one in it. I'm just going to put one in each for now. Well, this stuff's work. It's nice to work with when it's green. It really is. Now let's go to this corner. What's that cracking noise? Love these workbenches. All right, this one's gonna. Oh yeah, that's gonna come out just right. Get my screw in it. This is the time-consuming part of building cabinets. And then, well, I'm going to have to cut all that cedar and everything else, but that ain't bad. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this all screwed in, squared up. And then we'll take it in there and see what we got. All right. She is ready to go inside. I took two two by fours, just regular ones. I couldn't bear to have any more of that sawdust blowing in my face. And so those will go against the wall. That way, anywhere the studs are, I can screw them in and uh, help sturdy it up a little bit. I can see I got to drive some screws down a little more there, a little more there. But basically, that's it, the frame. And once I get it in and hung, then I'll figure out where I want to put the shelf at, break it up. Uh, right now, I don't care about that. We can do that inside. Where have you been? And sometime today, I've got to hop on that mower because man, did this stuff grow bad. 
<laughs> it is tall. All right, got my laser level up there. Coming off the very top of the cat. I don't know why that thing flashes like that. It's coming off the top of that is close, about where I want it. Uh, this thing, I ain't figured it out completely yet. I'll be doing a review on that, but I got to learn it first. And it doesn't, uh, it's kind of tricky on a tripod. But I do, what I did is I took my regular level, drew a line on the wall, and then I put this on it. And you got to move, the, le the tripod ain't level, so... I got it level now. It'll calibrate itself. Uh, it also has a thing you can hang on the wall. Pretty cool. It's called Sigmund. I'll be doing a review on that soon. So that line there is where I want the top of my cabinet. Ah, I don't get that laser the top of my cabinet to be. Actually, I think it could drop a hair. So let's drop that dude down a bit. Alright, let me look over here now. And his head was right. Alright in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna I've got I've got these things across here. So I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna have a couple screws started. Lift this up to the level line. There's my stud, there's a stud, there's a stud, and get them in there. Uh I'm not real worried. As long as I can get this cabinet here. Uh, open this far that's plenty good you can see I just got junk stuff in there anyway Tupperware crap and crap and more crap so we're gonna let, uh, raise this up this is gonna give me plenty of room for to put my vent hood if I don't do anything else today and get this on I'm happy uh, I've got to mow this grass because it looks like it's gonna rain they weren't calling for rain but that's I don't want to get any longer so let me see about getting this up there All right, heck with that. I just drew a red line. Because uh, when I get up here, that thing disappears. Because my head hits it. So it ain't good for that thing. So I got a couple screws in. That's about where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and raise it up. Uh, yeah, I don't worry about that. It's kind of, I got to really be careful here. Because the way I got to lean back, uh, lean over while I'm lifting this ain't good and I've got cardboard on my thing here so I don't mess it up nick it up all right yeah I don't like how this is gonna have to be all right <laughs> oh. Oh. get up there Ooh. Ooh. Let's just get one in I can't really see. Uh, get one in close. I'm happy. Oh yeah, this is really, really awkward. Ah, oh, nowhere near the stud. Yeah, that's plenty good. Nowhere near the stud, damn it. Alright, let's bring her down. This is not light, trust me. This is solid, still green wood. All right, here we go. Hoist! Up, 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 right there, right there, don't move. Yeah, that's that's good because it's actually about a quarter of an inch lower than that line and then that's good because I got to put a piece of cedar on top of it all right and I am down to very little let me move you guys very little three inch screws I'm digging for them yeah, it looks kind of ugly right now don't it they ain't done all right, now where's my level? 
I'm old fashioned, I guess. Using that new fancy stuff, I don't know. Let's see, where's my stud? Eyeball it. Oh, can't see. I ain't got my glasses on, man. Oh, yeah, that looks good and even with that. Missed the stud. Not by much. It's really not showing me much as well. Yeah, oh yeah. That's good. Perfect. All right, now I gotta round up a few more three inch screws. Uh, also got a stud right there. Man, that's kind of odd. I don't know if I'll be able to get one in there. Yeah, we can go through that if we have to. All right, and that's about the right height. Is my hood. Let's go get that hood. I know that's a long clip. Let's get that hood and throw it up here. In the hood. I'm in the hood. Oh yeah. That's gonna work, man. Right about there. Yeah. Good deal. That will work for us. And that's about all I'm gonna do today, guys. Get a few more screws in here. Now tomorrow, we're gonna bust out the cedar. We're gonna get the shelves put in. Gonna get it, we're gonna get it looking like this cabinets. And uh, it's gonna look nice. Get the hood on there. Get everything finished up. Now, let's come over here. If you look in this corner, uh, I have to come up with something for the, because that's wasted space, you know. It ain't going to hurt nothing to put a few shelves, I, th I think. You know, I got the router now. I can make some fancy, who knows, I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to make, some kind of spice rack or something. I'll come up with something. So let's take a look at it. And of course up there you'll see metal like you do there. This will all be metal. Only on this one, I'm gonna put, before I put the hood on under here, I'm putting metal under here because I will be cooking here on the butcher block that is gonna have my induction stove. Well, it was there, I just moved it. But I don't want any grease or anything. I rarely cook with anything like that. But I don't want anything splashing. Now, you know, cedar and pine, all that. That's good dried up wood. I uh, hope I can get my wires out of there now. Yeah, I think so. I didn't even see that or think about it. But, and that don't matter. I just need to pull the wires out. All the wiring goes into the actual vent hood. So, all right, guys. Wasn't that of an exciting video? But um, you know, I want to detail every step that I do. So, thanks for watching. Hey, before we go, let's go check on that rooster. She didn't want to come. She didn't want to stay outside. Let me get you guys off here. Show you what she's doing. Oh, she went to her biscuit. She was on the floor. I got the air conditioning on. Look at you, looking all innocent. We all know better. You just look like a big old mop. Big old mop. We see your eyes open under there. Thanks for
for watching, guys. Happy trails.